Hi, I'm Brendan Moore, one of the co-founders of Wolf Tooth Components, and I'm here today to introduce our new chain lube, WT1. It's a long time coming, we've been working on it for about five years, and we're bringing it to market today with the help of SEC Tech, a company we partnered with to develop it. Uh, you might ask, why is Wolf Tooth bringing up chain lube to market? Well, first and foremost, we want our customers to get the most out of their drivetrains and our components. We make over 300 different chain rings. We have three different tooth profiles. We have an extensive, extensive data set of field testing, both ours and our customers. We do listen to our customers. Um, we've been testing this product for a long time and it really is a fantastic do everything chain lube that can work in wet, dry, but is also, also very clean. WT1 could be better described as a premium synthetic drivetrain treatment. It's really got two distinct properties. Uh, one is cleaning the chain, the other is lubricating the chain. Um, regarding the cleaning the chain, uh, after application it begins immediately on uh, working on getting the grit and the grime, factory grease out of the chain. Uh, then the lubricating properties take over. One of the things that sets WT1 apart is the fact that it binds so well to the metal. That binding to the metal is extremely important on a lot of the modern drivetrains with the way the chain and the chain ring interact. This allows you to get three to five times the life out of your application of lubricant versus what you're used to. Another thing that differentiates WT1 lube is the fact that it works in both wet and dry conditions. So no matter where you're going to ride, what conditions you're going to be riding in, your drivetrain will run quiet and smooth. Applying WT1 is actually really simple. Um, start by shaking it really well. Uh, 20 or 30 seconds, there's a BB in there that'll help mix it up. Uh, it's a really concentrated lubricant. About 95% of this is lubricant versus most chain lubes would be 20 to 50%. Um, start by putting a drop on each roller. Simply back pedal. When you see the green come back around, You've applied a drop to each roller. Give it 20 or 30 back pedals. That's really working the lubricant into the chain. You can then at that point, let it dry for 10 minutes, go ride, or you can wipe it down. Uh, you will over the first two or three rides, see some grime and grit kind of accumulating, some, some black. Go ahead and give that with a microfiber cloth. A little wipe after every ride. Wipe the chain, wipe the chain ring, wipe the cassette. Then after two or three rides, you're gonna get in this uh, blissful period where it's, the chain will almost be shiny, be running quiet and smooth, and uh, be well lubricated. Thanks for listening. You can pick WT1 up at your favorite local bike shop or on wolftoothcomponents.com.